Hello everybody, welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We are going to be doing a bit of a speed painting, or at least that is what it is intended to be. If that is what it turns out being is yet to be determined. Uh, but I've got my piece of paper here taped up so I've got nice clean borders. And the first thing we're going to do is basically just apply um, some green watercolor to our piece of paper. And it doesn't have to be too uh, dark. This isn't really green. I mean, it's green when it's darker, but this is very watered down. So it's kind of like a yellow, but that's okay. We will make this work. Okay. So, while it is still wet, and if you have cotton paper, then you've got loads of time uh, to kind of dilly-dally, if you will. But we are going to be applying some more color on top. I'm just kind of mixing the colors together to achieve the color I want. So it's basically just black with a bunch of different greens. And that is exactly what you can do as well. It's totally up to you. So you can just apply your color. Again, we're doing wet on wet, so just make sure your background is sufficiently wet. And I'm gonna have maybe some pines over here. And I'm gonna, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but we're painting like a speed pine misty forest. Typically when I do my misty forest, they take like an hour. It's an hour long tutorial, so I'm hoping this one is not nearly as long because uh, it's supposed to be a speed painting. So I've applied that one layer, but now we want to go even darker. So I'm taking more black, adding it to that same pigment. If it's sufficiently wet, then it should spread out. So we want to let this spread out a little bit more. We don't want to, like typically I would dry my layers with a, with a hand dryer, but we don't want to do that this time around because we want this to stay moist and wet, um, but we do want to give the, the color time to spread out a little bit. So I'm going to take, like add even more black to that green. In fact, I think we're just like basically painting on black at this point. And I'm going to just stamp that on right on top of our darkened areas, allowing that pigment to continue to spread. And hopefully it will. Okay, so I think this is still too wet for what I want to do, which is <clears throat> at pine trees, obviously. Um, because if I start painting on the little vertical lines for the pine trees, the pigment will just spread into a blob. And we want them to be, you know, even though we want them to be faded, 
we still want them somewhat pronounced. Um, so I'm kind of debating on what to do here. I'm using my size one. I'm just going to do like a test here. And it's better to start, especially when it's wet, it's better to start at the top and move downwards because if you do the opposite, if you start down here at the bottom of the tree and move upwards to create your vertical trunk of the tree, when you lift off your brush, that pigment will pool where it last touched the paper. So you'll have like this totem, not totem pole, uh, what, what are those... What's that thing called in the North Pole? Like that pole in the North Pole with the ball on top? That's what it'll look like. So start at the top and move downwards, but it looks like it's still a little bit too wet for what I wanna do. I mean, I could make this work. Maybe this one's a little less wet. Let's see. Hmm. They're about, to, about the same, unfortunately. I'm, mm, I'm tempted to still try it because patience is definitely not my best quality. Okay, that's actually not bad. But we'll see when it fades, if it fades into a blob then we'll know that we should have waited. Oh, see, I did the thing that I just told you not to do. So you can do, you can paint as many pines as you would like. But indeed, you kind of have to go at just the, the right time when it's the perfect amount of wet and dry. I just got a call from a guy that we had giving us a quote to do bit of work on our house for something and I guess he lives pretty remotely so he didn't get my message until today or I resent the message and he got it today and he's like yeah I, I can come tomorrow and I'm like oh it is 8 p.m. and I still have to paint and I have to make pie and I have to move absolutely everything out of this one room in order for you to come do this job, but okay. No, I'm, I'm really happy that he can come on such short notice and just like get the job done because um, we need something done on our second bedroom. And um, the sooner that it is done, the better it will be for everybody because, you know, jobs like that are going to only be getting harder from this point on uh, in my pregnancy. Actually, when you guys see this video, I may not even be pregnant anymore. I think I've said that in a previous tutorial that you'll also see in September because I'm, as I've mentioned in the other tutorials in September, I am filming, uh, I'm batch filming September today. It is June currently, just for reference. So that is, that is really wild. My goal, I think I've said, yes, I've definitely said this in previous videos. But my goal for um, this year was to pre-film the entire year before August 1st. So I have basically one month left and I'm going to finish September today 
Like I have one month left to film, but I have, after I finish September today, I still have to do October, November, and December. And that's gonna be so weird filming like Christmas themed tutorials <laughs> um, in June and July, but I guess tis the season. <laughs> Okay, so I really like how this is turning out so far. I don't like these massive gaps though in between the layers and this isn't really a speed painting anymore because I am taking my sweet time. But it is a lot speedier than most of my misty tutorials. Most of them take, like I said, an hour or so. But I am going to let this completely dry, I think, because I want to add some pine trees, but uh, I want them to be a lot more pronounced than the one we, ones we've painted so far. Uh, and if it is completely dry and I paint on with black, then it'll really stand out a lot more. It won't blend into the background as much as all the others are doing. Um, so I'm going to do that, but just before I do, I'm going to have one more over here. Okay, let's let that dry. This should be mostly dry considering I took a, a hair dryer to it quite close up. Um, and we're gonna use black watercolor that has hasn't been watered down very much like i really want it to be quite um what do you call it like vibrant and and sticking out or darker than all the others so i've taken my black haven't added too much water and we're going to be doing the exact same thing that we were doing before this dried so i have my vertical line and then i'm just doing a bunch of these uh horizontal lines across when it's wet it looks a lot better because it spreads out much nicer. I'm going to try a slightly different technique for painting the second one because this didn't look that great uh, when it doesn't have a chance to blend out because the background is totally dry it doesn't really look as neat as all these other ones and natural so I'm angling my tree branches a little bit upwards so it kind of looks like, what's that pattern called? Fish, it's, uh, it's not a fishtail pattern. But I think you guys get what I'm trying to get at. I wonder if I can fix this one by adding a few of those types of branches. I don't really want to mess it up. It'll do. Anyways, that's not as dark as I was hoping for. So since I'm painting 
pine trees. Um, we've had the last few weeks off and on, we've had really bad air quality because of local forest fires. And, um, you know, it'll go away for several days and then we'll have another really bad day of bad air quality. And this is the first time in my life that I'm experiencing something like this. It's really quite bizarre because you hear about it in BC all the time, like wildfires. But I've never, ever experienced this kind of thing in Ontario. Um, so... What was my point? Oh, my point was that when this first happened, like I would say it was about, I don't know, three weeks ago, a month ago, when this was first an issue, um, I was debating whether I should buy an air purifier or like a an air filter cleaner thing for inside the house with a HEPA filter and all that. And I was like, oh, what's the point? Like, this is going to pass in a few days and then we're going to have this giant loud machine in our house for no reason. But because I'm expecting I'm pregnant, I was like, I don't want to take the chance. Like, I just want to breathe clean air in my house. So we bought one secondhand and I'm so glad that we did because... Like I said, every few days there's there's a new wave of this uh, smoke plume um, that comes into our area and and we're equipped to deal with it. So the filter has been going every day regardless because our house smells a lot better too, considering. Uh, we don't have central air, so it, yeah, it smells better because there's, we, we previously didn't really have any air circulation in the, in the winter. It's not a problem because we, um, heat with wood. So it's the humidity, but there's basically no humidity. I mean, there's humidity in the house, but it's very low humidity. So like smells don't linger but in the summer, there is no air circulation in the house because we have no need for heating and we don't have AC. So um, it really starts to smell stagnant in here, even if we open windows and stuff. Like it still smells very, because we live in a forest, right? So the forest is also humid and stinky. Uh, it's not stinky. The forest smells amazing, but I think you you get what I'm trying to say here. So this air filter has helped significantly with the odor in the house. Um, like the air doesn't smell so stagnant anymore. Ooh, I'm sorry if that was not on the camera. That's what I tend to do when I start talking away and I'm not paying attention. Anyway, you can paint these darker trees wherever you want, and as many as you want. I was mostly painting them because I wanted to finish my story. But, uh... I think I'll do one more over here just because it looks a little bit bare. But yeah, we have another, another really bad wave of the smoke coming tonight. I feel really bad for my poor chickens. Maybe I should bring them in so that they don't have to breathe that air. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I mean, my timer is showing 24 minutes right now, but it's going to be a little shorter than that. 
once I edit it a little bit. It's still better than the one hour that I usually take to paint these kinds of paintings. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the technique, if you'd like to see more of these kinds of tutorials. Um, don't forget to subscribe if, if you enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next tutorial.